Hey folks, what's going on there? This is Dan here with Harbor Tea Outdoors and I'm coming to you with another adventure. Hopefully this goes as planned, but uh, it is an experiment for me and it was inspired by Ozarks, Woodsman Stories and more. So we've been experimenting with the uh, char cloth, the chert and the steel, the flint and steel technique. And so I have been uh, kind of throwing out there that we should try char wood. So I really didn't want to go into it where I watched every single video and saw, oh, this is the easiest way to do it and be one and done. I wanted to do it where it would be a situation that you may not know exactly how to do it, but you know it can be done. You don't have any uh, denim or, or char cloth or anything like that to make it, which obviously if you don't have a fire, you don't have it. But uh, then I thought, well, you know, what if I had some char wood? So I, I tried to get some from a log, and I'll show you that here in a minute. And it was basically from a burnt log, and I broke off some pieces i tried it uh, to light it with the chert it didn't work i tried to light it with a ferro rod it didn't work and ozark woodsman stories and more said well uh, did you do it in the true fashion of uh, like you would char cloth where you put it in the tin and you heat it up and until all the moisture's taken out of it and go from there so i was hmm, i have not thought of that and i will try it so here we are trying it. Now I'm going to take you over and I'm going to show you the original log that I got the uh, lumps of charred wood off of it and that didn't work. And then I'm going to show you what I got in the tin here of some different samples to try out to see what the end result is. So we'll be back in just a moment. So here's the piece of wood that I got it from. And as you can see I broke off some chunks of it there. That's what I was originally trying and I could not get it to take a single ember. So now I'm going to go over and show you what I got in the, the tin that we're going to char up on the fire. So in my tin, and this may or may not work, I've got some of the original here that I got out of the that piece of wood, and then I got some uh, piece of a stick of pine, and it's kind of punky in the middle. And same for this little piece right here. And then I cut off some little short rounds of it. And then I cut off a slice of hickory and did this, you know, just kind of, you can see it's punky around the outside, but I broke it up into smaller pieces to be able to try. And I got my tin here. Uh, please excuse the top here, but I got this. Uh, it was on the clearance rack, had some kind of game or something in it that was 50 cents but it is the perfect charring tin so we're gonna give this a try all right as you can see here i got me a bed of coals going well actually right now it's a, a fire but there is a bed of coals underneath it that was from this morning but they uh died down too much to do this so i just went ahead and built another little fire for this and let's see how it goes i uh, may end up having to add more because of the hickory wood but here we go all right we got it on the fire there and i don't know if you can see it very well Try to zoom in here a little bit. Get that lined up so you can see it. And you can see the smoke is coming out the top of it there. Like out of the little hole like you want it to. And next thing is to wait until that quits doing that. Who knows how long that's going to be. So we'll be back in a little while. It's always cool when you see that gas that's coming off of there and it's burning like that. Hopefully it's not burning inside. Okay, it's been 
probably about 20-25 uh, minutes. I thought I'd make sure it had plenty of time to uh, do what it could to the, the hickory wood, but there is no more smoke coming off of it, so we're gonna take it off, let it cool down, and see what we got. Okay, folks, here we go. This is the reveal. I have loosened the lid, but I have not taken it off, so let's take a look at what we got here so uh -huh. interesting those chunks of uh hickory really shrunk up i'm gonna see if i can zoom in here for you guys so you can see it there and what we got here I'll try not to get in the way there's uh, the hickory wood there the these are the chunks of that pine wood these were a little more solid and then these were the little rounds of the more punky stuff and then of course the chunks of uh, another piece of the hickory well that's breaking up but yeah you get a good idea of what we got there so hickory pine wood that was kind of harder and then little small pine rounds that were punky and then that uh, pieces of charcoal that i got off of that piece of wood i showed you earlier next phase is to try it out and see what will ignite and we'll go from there so what we've got here i got this uh metal tray here it's a little i guess a little planter tray or something picked it up it was a, a bargain deal at uh, walmart there and i thought oh this would make a, a great little tray for trying these things out now i don't have the uh, church and steel with me at the moment i could get it but uh, i really wanted to in the interest of this see what was going to happen if it would in fact take a spark so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my ferro rod and my striker here and see if we can at least get an ember onto this so what I've got, again, this is that, uh, it was the burnt wood flakes that, or chunks that I had taken off of that log. This is the uh, pine that was kind of dried out, but it, you know, still pretty hard. There wasn't much punky to it. This is the hickory here that we did in the chunks. And then this is the punky uh, pine wood, but it wasn't real spongy, but it was, it was soft, so... We'll just give these a try with the ferro rod, see what happens. Okay, I did have a spark. I don't know if you guys saw that. It landed on there, but it immediately went out. So. Yeah, see, they're landing on it, they're burning, but they're not keeping an ember going. So let's move on to the harder wood here. Again, same results there. But here's something interesting. One of the sparks actually went off over here onto the uh, hickory piece of wood, and I've got an ember growing there. That was really surprising. And we'll go ahead and give this punkier piece of wood here a try. Trying to stay out of the way of the camera. But yeah, it just, uh, it, it lands on it. It sparked for a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere. But as you can see, that is actually growing on that hickory wood. Wow, not the results that I expect. And that is actually on the inside of it. I thought it was the outer more punky, but that was the actual hardwood part of it. So I'm a little bit astounded here. What I'm gonna do, let's see if I can break this into break into the inside here a little bit see if I can get that one going
flake somewhere. Yeah, it ignited the flakes and it did nothing. So let's try to mash into the inside of the, the rounds there. I guess it was a little harder than I thought it was, but it sure looked punky on the inside. Same results. So, wow, the hickory seems to be the winner here. That is just something else. I mean, the ember's still going. I can see it glowing out here on the outside edge. Pick that up here. Bring that in so you can see it. It's hot. Here you go. It's close up. Hopefully you guys can see that. But, wow, that was not the results that I uh, expect. Well, I did learn something there, and I think what I'm going to do is get me some more of that hickory and have me some uh, more pieces there that I can char up. And Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. It, it uh, had some shocking results to me, and uh, maybe shocking to you all. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I know I'd like to uh, try to do this with an uh, actual chert, which is going to be a, a lot more difficult because, uh, you know, I got concentrated uh, sparks with this and the, uh, you know, the flint and steel technique. Uh, it's not quite as concentrated. Definitely been an, an exciting journey. Uh, like I said, it was really surprising that this beat all the others. And, you know, it's it's little tests like this that uh, really make it enjoyable and if you if you like this kind of stuff I've got a video about how I uh, found a new way to extract fat wood from logs that you know once you cut the the branch off so uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff go check that out I'll provide a link for it and as always be kind to one another and go have an adventure we'll talk to you later